Hey guys, this is a quick rundown review of this micro, the stereo microscope I use for soldering. So I got this uh, M scope microscope, stereo microscope. It's made in China for soldering. I think it's ideal for soldering purpose because it gives you nine inches of walking distance from the uh, soldering well, soldering larger board to the microscope. This is the way it gets focused. So it gives me plenty room between my larger board and my soldering iron as such. Uh, one, so this goes on Amazon around 100, 200 dollars or less. It's relatively cheap and it comes with like a attachable light. I think the newer model they sell now it comes with an LED light. The one I bought had the regular uh, heat lamp. So you get like, see, see the circle over here? This is the way it's being focused on the uh, dodger board at the moment. Okay, so what you want to watch out for is you don't want to get um, for soldering, you want to use between 10x, 10x zoom to 20x zoom, or maybe 30 to 40x zoom if you want, but that's already too much. Uh, for what I mostly use is 10x or 20x. So what you want to watch out is that you want to get this lens to be 10x, not 2x. Because if you have times 2 here, plus the lenses that they usually come with, which is 20x, and a 10x zoom lens, see? 10x. This one only zoom in 10 times. This one zoom in 20 times. And if you you buy the one that comes with 2x over here, with the 10x lens, you're actually essentially getting a 20x. And that's okay, but 10x is what you use most for soldering, in my opinion. And if you have 20x over here plus 2, oh, 2x over here, that gives you a 40x, which is too much. You get, you get too detailed into the fine pitch when you're soldering the pins. That you don't need to see, and it just you, you obstruct the entire the bigger view of the picture. So um, I think that's pretty much it for this soldering stereoscope. Uh, you can adjust this to your eye level. There's a screw over here. You can lock this piece into the eyepiece into its place. But I took the screw out so I could adjust it and take it out and switch to a different lens if I want to. Uh, this rubber thing makes it really soft with your eyes touching it. Uh, this on the left hand side, well on the right hand side of the microscope, or whatever, this side, uh, you can adjust this lens with the distance, it goes up and down by twist, twitch, uh, twisting it. Uh, th I think this is for people who want to mount like a camera over here, or for people who have prescription and the, their eyes has different focus. Then you can focus both of, uh, once you focus the microscope on this eyepiece, you can adjust the eyepiece on this uh, the side of the eyepiece to adjust to your eyesight or microscope that you put on. So what I, what uh, so let's run down again what I like most about this microscope. The best thing about it is that you can make a lot of arrangement on different angles like for example mine is a little bit tilted right now you can do this kind of stuff to it and it's really high 9 inches walking distance that's really tall for soldering which is great uh, yeah and this thing goes up and down if you twist this knob uh, if you loosen this part you can make twisting motion like this and this obviously you can make it loose and this will go up and down like this. Uh, I want to I want to show you guys, but I only have one hand, so like, it's really hard to do it with one hand. So I'm just gonna, you know, ink prop. Okay. So that's pretty much it. I don't know if you can see it from the camera. Like, uh, let me try to get this focus. Yeah, you probably can see it. You can see it. Let me try the ten x. See if that helps. Yeah. Well, you see, you see a lot of my my videos on um, soldering. I I only use this microscope, so you've seen them. 
So yeah, you, you get a very good picture of two eyes. And you can adjust adjust here. Oh, wait. You can adjust this knob and then it will go focus. See? Ah. Now I'm actually going higher than the the way I set it, so it, it gets even more distance down. And in if you see it with your eyes instead of like through a camera, this circle is a lot bigger. You can see a lot more. But because this camera is, has a narrow angle, so uh, the camera I'm holding right now has a narrow angle, so it doesn't. It only shows like a small area. But when you use it in person, you can see much more on the larger board you're working at. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's oh, and also this thing. If you loosen the screw over here this slide out. So if you do buy the different kind of eyepiece, you can change this into 2x or 3x. I think MSCO has a 3x as well, and it just has that, and they have, they have a special order it. That's pretty much about it. Um, what else I want to say about this microscope? Oh, um, okay, so this one is, is a bimocular, bimocular, if I pronounce it right, bimocular stereo microscope. They have trimocular stereo microscope. The only difference is trimocular and bimocular is you have well two eyepieces lens, two molecular, bimocular, and trimocular is the one that it has like another tube here. Instead of having a light here, you have a, another lens that goes through here. Which let me show you what what it looks like here. So you have two eyepieces here. If you have trimocular instead of bimocular, you will have three eyepieces, and what happened is you're gonna be able to see, well, not three eyepieces, but the, the, the one of the eyepiece comes off from here, has a mirror that goes to a dirt, dirt eyepiece is that it's empty over here because you only have two eyes, you see it from here, and this spot is reserved for uh, if you put, you can mount like a digital camera, which is the one I'm holding right now, or a USB camera, it goes directly to a computer or like a, a really fancy phot photographer camera. So that's the option you Well, that's the model you want if trimocular stereo microscope, if that's what you're interested in doing recording and still be able to see your two eyepieces um, with your eyes. Um, I, I got this one because bimocular micro stereo microscope is like 100 to 200 dollars less than the trimocular. Uh, they function just pretty much the same, except the fact that the other one has like an extra lens hole. It doesn't bother me that much, but some people really need it to use it. Well, if they want to record, they, you have to sacrifice one uh, lens hole regardless. If you have trimocular, you can use two eyes, but for me, I can use one eye and I use... What I do is uh, I, I lift this open. And I mount one of these uh, lens onto a camera. So I do it as such, and then I put the camera or webcam. I, I literally tape this thing onto the camera lens, and then I, I put it in like this. So let me just get my get my webcam to show you. Uh, what is it? Alright, so this is what I did with my other, uh, this is what I did with my, my spare webcam. So I have this uh, Logic Tag, I think it's a 9000 Pro. What I do is uh, I, I tape the, you see like the eyepiece, I tape the eyepiece onto the webcam. And since this webcam has like auto adjusting functions and zoom and all that good stuff on Logitech, uh, back in its day, it's a fancy webcam, so it has a microphone here as well. So what I do is I just mount on it and stick it in, and hook this thing up to the computer, and it gives you perfect view on. Actually, this is better because I'm just this side more. Alright, my computer is on that side, so you, you could do whatever you want with this as long as it doesn't get in your way. Um, so I mount it like this, and the webcam sees what exactly I see from here. And I focus before I solder, and I just press record, and I go on doing my business on over here. Whatever I see over here is being recorded through the computer. 
Uh, Ansco also sell the camera on its own, which I think is a lot better. You can get like a two megapixel, uh, yeah, two meg two megapixels camera from them for fifty dollars, I think. Or you could get the five megapixel for maybe seventy or eighty dollars. You probably want to get that because that camera is small and it's it's about the size of like this lens and it's designed with a USB cable comes out. It's designed to to be used on stereo microscope, but I I have this spare uh, webcam lay around, so I just uh, well I compromise and I just tape it. So this this webcam costs like sixty dollars or give or take. So it's it, I didn't really save any money, but um, well I had this, so I use it. It's a, it's really the same thing. It's a digital camera and it's a USB camera and it's mounted to the eye lens. Okay. So that's pretty much it. The only thing I don't like about this this uh, Sarah Michael saw is how that if you twist this onto the side because you want to work on a different angle. Let me show you. Uh, if you twist it, this oh whoa, whoa, whoa. see this is what I mean. Uh, if you have this, wait hold on, let me zoom out. You have the stereo microscope on the side like such. This space is not strong enough to hold it in place. So it tilts over and sometimes when you are soldering you get very excited and you want to move it to the right angle and then next thing you know this thing crashed down on you and yeah that's not a good thing. So if, well one way to fix this easily is that if you can just you know retain this with some kind of weights like dumbbells or whatever, just put it on here and then it's heavy enough to stay. Or maybe you can you can screw some screws here and then mount onto the table you want. That's probably too much work, but you could put a dumbbell over here, that's fine. That will that'll hold it in place and move whatever angle you want. Okay, so, so that's about it. That's the only downside about this zero record. So otherwise, I'm very happy with... It's only $200. I mean, it's like... Really cheap <laughs> for a webcam. For, oh, sorry, for like a stereo microscope. Especially for soldering. Like, uh, you can find stereo microscope that they sell... I don't know why they sell those kind of stereo microscopes. It's really not meant for soldering or... Uh, inspection, inspecting like uh, with distance. They have still a microscope that's like a hundred dollars range. A lot of soldering website sales. It has three inch walking distance between the lens and the larger board, which is great because you see great picture. You could take still image really great. Um, it works just like this one. The exception is you have like three inch walking distance and you can't fit any kind of soldering, anything. You can't even put a finger through it. Like this kind of distance. Like imagine this light piece is over here and that's the focus length that you get. No, it can't work. It's not for soldering. Don't buy those. Those has like a platform with a light and a button and you put it on top. It's really there for uh, I think pathology slices. You look at the pathology slice and on a quick or maybe you look at blood and kind of uh, erythrocytes and the white blood cells that might work but I that doesn't work for soldering you won't get something like this with long walking distance um, well yeah just elaborate on that why this microscope is not used for pathology even though it does the exact same function as the small one is because it shakes a lot because it's due to its long distance so you know image sometimes gets like a little blurry because it shakes but that's for soldering, that, that's fine. It's good for soldering. And you probably noticed that there's uh, I also have this USB microscope. What I did was, uh, I, you know when you buy it, you only have this and it comes with a little mounting thing. And what I did is I modified it. So uh, this mounts to... Uh, this this originally came from, came from... It has like a... It's like a helping arm thing. And it's a helping arm for soldering, which is pretty much useless, it's so small. And it has like a ma uh, magnified lens, which I took it off. It has an LED magnified lens. That's also useless, so, but the space is good. So I, I mount my um, USB microscope on it. This USB microscope can zoom like 200 times digital zoom once it's on the computer. It doesn't really zoom on its own, so the optical zoom is like crap. But once it's on a computer, you can make a big picture of it and then record your soldering process. But it's really not for soldering, despite a lot of sellers try to sell you this for soldering. It's not really. It has, it has, uh, it's not hooked up right now, but it has a, 
it has like lights it has USB uh, LED lights and you can push this on and those LED lights will light on that's great that works good and you press this button and start to record or take a picture it takes a picture that button takes a picture it doesn't record and you can press the keys and use a mouse to get a recording if you just you know, twist this sorry one hand one hand really hard uh, twist the wrong direction really hard anyways you get the point this thing has to be really close to get a good picture focus so this is the same thing as the other stereo microscope that's uh it, it has like two or three inches walking distance not practical for starting and if you want a really nice picture you have to be this close yeah, so this is really for still image, not for soldering. You can do any work underneath it. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I, this this thing was like forty, fifty dollars. It was okay. I mean, for at the time I didn't have the stereo microscope, so I bought this. It was okay. It was, it was something, but I probably won't buy it again. And I, it's okay. I only have one, so it's good to have one. But it's pretty much useless, in my opinion. So, unless you're just taking still image of the larger board, you really don't need one. And then also the image you take is really detailed, small image. You don't get to see the entire larger board. If you want to get an entire larger board, you probably want to get like a nice camera, like the one I'm holding right now. And you record it and you take a picture of the larger board that way. Okay, so that's a different thing. And does you can if you get a nice camera, you can always put a micro lens onto the camera. Uh, what it does is it gives you wide angle, and you can see really small stuff like this camera. It loses focus when you get too close. Oh, oh, it's still focus, still focus. Oh, it's still good. It's kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, can, I can zoom in like digital zoom. So it loses focus a bit when you move around, and you, you get great walking distance. So you can what you can do you can mount onto like a tripod here, and and then you can see like you can use it as like a soldering digital camera. That's one way to do it. Or you could just buy this, two hundred bucks with you know plus or minus fifty dollars, sixty dollars for the webcam. Yep. So that's pretty much my review for my Sera microscope. I love it. It's great. The new one's even better because this thing gets really hot. It's using like regular light. It's really really hot. This whole thing is practically a heat sink. My hands burning right now. Uh, terrible because I sometimes burn myself with this. But the new one they sell on Amazon is not actually. It doesn't come with this light. It comes with like a movable LED. It's it's like a adjustable twisting LED light, so you can focus on anywhere you go. And LEDs, it's not hot, so. Great. Uh, the new microscope is even better than this one. But I like mine. It's fine. It works. I'm happy. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, I'm gonna go through more of my re well, more of my selling stuff probably soon in my next video. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.